Hey guys, I'm Lindsay Brackett, president and co-founder of Legacy FM. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, you have probably noticed that I use hashtag empowerment in almost all of my posts. And so I just wanted to take a quick moment to explain what empowerment means to me and why we intentionally use that word uh, at Legacy FM. And I ran across a, a definition of empower a while back and I really liked it. Um, and it said to empower someone is to make them feel strong and confident. And I really can't think of a better vehicle to empower someone than education. Um, and I really fundamentally believe that we all want to do good work and make a difference. But um, too often people don't live up to their potential because they're not equipped with the skills and knowledge they need to be successful. Or even worse than that, they simply haven't been given the opportunity. And that's really the foundation of our business is to empower people with skills and knowledge and to give them opportunity in their career that they otherwise wouldn't have. And so just real quick, I wanted to share a story with you guys. Um, at the beginning of this year, I decided to kick off 2020 by listening to Ray Dalio's book, Principles. And I was getting ready one morning and listening to Audible, and uh, Dalio got to the point in his book when he was talking about your business principles and the importance of having them written down and publicized. And it occurred to me in that moment that we've talked about our principles at Legacy FM, but we've never written them down, memorialized them, made them public, and made them known. And uh, so I decided to change that. And in that moment, I grabbed a dry erase marker because I love to whiteboard. And so I grabbed my dry erase marker, which by the way is next to my toothbrush, and I started to write on my bathroom mirror <laughs> all of our business principles. And so among what I wrote was this, and I've actually, I've got it written down because I haven't memorized it yet. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat and read, and read it to you. But among what I wrote was, every individual has value and purpose unique to his or her talents and gifts. And it's our duty, not as leaders, but as humans, to uplift, unlock, and encourage that value in others. And empowering others means to empower the world. And who and how we empower will determine our legacy. So I leave you with this. Two questions. Who will you empower? And what legacy will you leave behind? Thanks, y'all.